Well, do you remember this? These were warmer days, weren't they? This was the first ever Limitless Challenge that took place this past June. The challenge was an opportunity for those in the adaptive community to experience the ascent to Table Rock. And the group behind the Limitless Challenge is now taking on a new project. I got to know Ronald Kern uh, with Limitless when we were involved in that. I got to really enjoy getting to know you, Ron, and appreciate just your heart for veterans and what you want to do and for people in the adaptive community. And then Brent Taylor is with the Wyken Foundation, the veterans organization that we've done many stories That's on because you do work. such great work for Thank veterans. You. So here you are together launching a new project. Ron, tell us what you're up to. Well, we know that technology is very important for everybody. Everybody sure. has a cell phone, laptop, tablet but there are a lot of veterans that don't and in order to continue their education to uh, work on the resume to get acclimated and back into the workforce you have to have that technology and when they don't have it there can be a long wait and mounds of paperwork mm -hmm. and we just want to help bypass that and get good technology in their hands. So it's called Tech for Vets. Tech for Vets. Pretty basic idea, basic. but really the needs aren't basic. And you just hit it, you've got cell phones, tablets, computers, and you need to be able to do the work if you're going back to school, which is what you spend a lot of time, Brent, I know, helping vets get back into, uh, into their education and in the workforce. What kind of uh, call was that to get from Ron saying, hey, let's partner on this? Well, it was fantastic. You know, Limitless is such a great organization and, and Wyakin is always interested in, in partnerships that help veterans. And so at Wyakin, you know, we're, we're involved with veterans that are in school and, and most veterans organizations, the idea is to remove obstacles to that yes. transition. And so technology, inferior technology is, is an obstacle. Um, and we want the veterans to be able to focus on succeeding at school, succeeding professionally, and not have to worry about you know, whether or not they have the tools that they need to do so. And so uh, partnering with Ron is, it was, is a great opportunity to get those tools in the hands of our transitioning veterans uh, you know, throughout the community. How great is the need? It's significant. Um, you know, technology changes so rapidly that uh, you can feel like you're all set one day and, uh, you know, a couple weeks later you feel like you're a couple generations behind almost. And so there's a, there's a great need out there. And, the, and it's required. I mean, you can't really go to college without the technology that you need to be able to stay up with what's happening there, too. That's right. So how do people help, Ron? What, what's the process to help a vet get the tech they need? The beautiful thing is, is there's so many ways that people can get involved. If they have good working technology, they can actually donate that. And we will go through the um, process of putting it in uh, the veterans' hands. People can donate money, and all money and proceeds go directly to buy more equipment and technology that will go right back to the veterans. People can also if they can't do either one of those, maybe they uh, want to pay for a year's worth or five years worth of internet or uh, telephone lines mm -hmm. for, for them at their home. And maybe they have a computer consulting company or an online education or they have a software company or have access to that. Even though it's not, quote, technology, it's the other software pieces that really make the computer and laptop you know, uh, usable. Exactly. So there's a lot of ways people can get involved. And so how do we get in touch with you, what, how, what's the, the, the point where we need to make this donation? You can go to limitlesslife.org mm -hmm. and there is the American flag and they just click on it and it will take them to the page and they can fill out everything, donate, and everything is right there, plain and simple. For and them. we need to explain that it's limitless. If you were with us for the Limitless Challenge, you probably know this already, it's L-I-M-B. Correct. Li like our limbs, uh, Limitless Challenge. And I'm gonna put all this on my Facebook page. As a matter of fact, we're gonna do a quick interview after this to put yeah. on the Facebook page so that you can maybe share that and get the word out. Because I know, it's just kinda like the story we did earlier about you know if somebody sees a need for warm clothes at their local school, now we're letting people know there's a need for our local vets and they really will appreciate it, and I know that you will get it in the hands. That's your job, isn't it, Brent, to get it in the hands of the people who need it most? Absolutely, and people can, you know, people can help. In today's world, exposure and awareness is everything, and so you know, Ron's website, our website at wyken.org, uh, Limitless Facebook page, our Facebook page, you know, getting on there and yeah. sharing that information is the best way to create awareness so veterans know that this support is out there and they can take advantage of it and they don't feel like they don't have some place to turn. All right, well, I think it's gonna be a great encouragement, great tools for folks and another great idea. <laughs> good job, Ron, good to well, see you again. Thank you very much. We'll see what that's else you cook up. I imagine you'll be back before we know it. <laughs> well. All right, thank you, we'll be right back.